thank you very much. I'm Adamson Moula. I'm a professor of epidemiology and public health in the University of Malawi's School of Public Health and Family Medicine. Um, so, Prof, you have been um, kind of the, the technical lead within the Secure Health Program, which the College of Medicine is part of. And we are now coming you know, near the end of the program. And we just seem to understand uh, from your experience running um, this program within Malawi, um, what do you think, uh, what is the difference that the program has brought about based on your experience? My sense is that uh, one element is the appreciation of uh, evidence, especially research evidence as to how it should inform decision making. I think this has allowed us to reflect on our own practices, but also the practices of others as to the extent that uh, evidence was being valued. Now the changes, I think, there's a lot more conversation amongst different partners as to the role that our evidence should play as we make decisions in the health system. So um, when you look at uh, secure health, it has been responding to a number of barriers, uh, you know, hindering evidence use. And we're obviously just responding to some of the barriers. What do you think are the major barriers remaining that future programs would need to respond to within um, Malawi's health sector? My sense is that uh, I think the program has achieved some uh, milestones in terms of raising the awareness and the appreciation of evidence in decision making. But I, I think the, it needs to be expanded uh, to the extent, I think the people that now are able to appreciate knowledge is not like a huge number and yet others would, would still benefit. The building of capacity also, that, that we're talking about uh, several dozen people. Uh, certainly, I mean, the people that came in to the science caves are uh, many but then uh, one would think that that also becomes quite a regular um, event. Uh, and, and different uh, topics, just uh, we only did uh, maybe four topics, but there are also other topics that uh, need to be, to be tackled. So for me, I, I think that uh, it is that sort of uh, scaling up, uh, building on lessons learned, uh, dealing with some of the challenges that we uh, we encountered and then uh, ensuring that it becomes a second nature for all of us in the health system to use evidence as we make decisions. Um, in future similar programs, particularly in bringing the academia into the center of this kind of work? Uh, we've, we've involved uh, some number of people within, within our university, but uh, maybe uh, I think the, the program itself has happened at the time that, that there is also expansion within the higher education sector in Malawi. So at the time that we were studying this, there were only a handful of uh, higher education institutions. Currently, Malawi has over 20 uh, accredited universities, most of which are in the private sector. So we need, we need to expand and involve the private sector higher education institutions. But also for us, um, even within the public university system, uh, it was only the University of Malawi. We need maybe to uh, engage and bring on board the other, the other universities. Uh, maybe the difference was that the other universities are not so much in health work but uh, they have components. Each of the universities would have some element of a health program, and perhaps we need to, uh, to, to involve them. But I, I guess the other also important uh, component is how do we then scale up or start training uh, undergrad, postgrad students uh, in uh, knowledge management and evidence use in the health system? that you think would be a very important part of just engaging the academia in terms of improving um, evidence uptake? Yes, it, it is going to be, because what we've done now, we've, uh, we've built capacity for now, or for, the, for now and in the immediate future, but in the longer term, it has to be the undergrads and the postgraduate students who will then take up leadership uh, in the health system. Um, so finally, when 
you think about your experiences having been part of the Secure House program, um, what would you say, as you come towards the end of the program, what would you say has been your kind of takeaway message, if I may call it, in this work? Well, I, one of the things is the engagement of multiple partners. It's always useful when you have uh, non-governmental organizations, the government, international NGOs, and us uh, public universities engaging on an issue. Uh, because each one brings onto the table their own expertise and, uh, and view, and uh, coming up to deal with issues in a collaborative manner, that has been very valuable. It's a skill, even if it is not in evidence, uh, uh, use of evidence, but even that negotiation and working with partners has also allowed us to to learn and build our capacity to engage with other other institution uh, because we of the way that we were able to operate. So that's I, I think that's what I'm I'm carrying uh, going forward. I that on your mind, me sorry. That was the final question, but I think when you talked about it, I just thought I should probably ask you what the experience has been. Working on this program, particularly engaging parliaments, who are not like the typical people we always engage somehow, but yeah, yeah. Yes, the, that, that uh, for me it was a second uh, instance that I was engaging in parliament, but it, I think the, you know, there's always criticism or suspicion between the public or people outside parliament and the parliamentarians. There is a, a, a way we, we, we normally tell ourselves as if parliament is not in, interested in evidence but within this program you find that parliament is very interested or parliamentarians and the staff in the national assembly are very interested in the uh, in using evidence uh, for decision making they have different needs and uh, different challenges and and that's another another part because uh, many of them i mean the parliamentarians not many of them but maybe all of them are politicians and uh, and their interests and their, the challenges or the opportunities that they, they experience in order to use evidence is, is unique yeah. to them. And that, that sort of appreciation was very meaningful uh, to me.